sure we're live. Oh, there we are. Let me do this. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a live stream of a comic book reading. And the comic books that we're going to choose from are the ones here. Okay. And today is March 30th. 2020 and we did a live stream yesterday and we read uh 1972 romance comic so we're following that up with uh live stream today and we're going to read one more comic at least anyway uh catholic traditionalist hello hello how are you doing welcome welcome to the live stream now as far as uh, the comic book readings go we've sort of set this thing up hello dragon how are you doing we sort of set up this uh the setup that we have right now i've used the setup to do the recordings we've done a lot of comic book readings in the last few years and this is going to be basically sort of the second official live stream comic book reading or a third one because one of them we read uh, sandman number eight uh, the first appearance of death and i did live stream that as well but we never loaded that on youtube it was only available on BitChute. so we're going to try this out for a bit hello knights of old comics um and just because uh you know the what is it almost half the world's population is it half the world's i think about two billion people are locked in so i think it'd be a good idea to do uh some live stream comic book readings and we'll see how it goes at some point I'm going to update upgrade this camera so it focuses better when we get close up and whatnot but for now this is our setup um, hopefully you'll enjoy the reading and as far as um, if you want to know who we are where we are where I'm uploading stuff and whatnot uh, I do have a patreon page set up and uh, we do share a lot of information uh, on patreon I announce all the videos that we're uploading as well as announcing our schedule that we're going to um that we do live streams on right and for those who have joined patreon thank you very much for supporting this work i don't think i say that enough but i think you guys know that i really do appreciate it uh it's because of you really and everybody else is supporting from different platforms twitch youtube BitChute. it's because of you guys that i'm able to do this right and you don't have to become a member uh, contribute funds to follow the work you can just press follow and read the blog post if you do have the funds supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to do it saucy rossi how are you doing hey chicho look at those glorious bugs silver age we got the uh, golden age and silver age and this one's silver age too and this is a um catalog for ordering comic books so we can take a look at these we took a i i went through what these comic books are but i'll do it again and everybody can vote uh to see which one we want to read happy quarantine <laughs> happy quarantine to you as well bailey spider-man how are you doing no worries spider-man uh dude uh, enjoy don't feel pressure at all and spider-man is one of our mods on twitch uh for those watching this on youtube or bitchute um no pressure brother I'm creating this stuff, doing these live streams so people can enjoy, right? Including the mods. So if you need to kick back, just let me know that you're going to kick back. And I'll keep, you know, if you're the only mod around, I'll keep a closer eye on the chat and whatnot, okay? Just enjoy yourself, man. That's what I'm here for, as well as teaching whatever, <laughs> whatever we're talking about, you know, laid on the foundation of mathematics, right? Connor higgins how are you doing hello hello nate how are you welcome back birdie here birdie what up what up spot of how you doing oh i want to see the prices in the catalog and be sad at the price of amazing fantasy number 15 and showcase showcase number four i'm assuming you're saying right with the flash right sorry it didn't turn out yes no worries spot of tea you missed the comic book reading brother stuff came up. no worries no worries lonely piggy how are you doing hope life is treating you well in these complicated times brother indeed indeed lonely piggy and we the kicker with these complicated times is if you see it coming a mile away which we did we talked about this right then it's not as traumatic 
right hopefully everyone did a little bit of prep work that you know was following our work that we're doing on BitChute and youtube uh and and twitch and youtube and BitChute. right we're loading on videos we're we're talking about what was taking place on the other side of the world and china and africa and all this stuff so we were sort of prepared so hopefully everyone got a little bit prepared and you're not uh you know you have them you have your supplies that you need and you're not as traumatized as a lot of people that uh, were initially traumatized or are traumatized right VC how are you doing welcome welcome always be making how is life thank you to show your kindness has really been helping all of us get through this craziness a lot better for sure the world is crazy uh, spider-man <laughs> the world is insane right anybody that's been paying attention would have known that this is absurd right this is just icing on the absurd right you know how we're going to deal with this absurdity once we come out of that yeah showcase number four maybe fantastic four a uh, fantastic four number one too yeah thank you very much and angered how are you doing welcome welcome how are you you're subscribed for 10 months 10 months straight up sweet 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 Thank you very much for the sub and by the way for those of you watching on youtube and bitshoot we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to catch the live streams twitch is where you want to where you want to be at thank you for the hearts uh, and anger uh twitch is where you want to be at if you want to catch these live and we are loading these most of these on youtube uh, all of them on bitshoot and on youtube i just tried for the first time um two videos ago we did a premiere on youtube where i hung around uh we did the cooking stream premiere on youtube and i hung around in the chat for the three and a half hours that we we're doing a cooking stream and chatted up with people so that was fantastic martin how are you doing so what we're most like to do a lot of these videos that we're shooting or doing live streams on we load them up on bitshoot and we'll do a premiere on on youtube and as long as i can hang around in the chat i'll hang around the chat and uh talk to everyone and whatnot right lockdown has everyone shaving <laughs> shaving their heads nice <laughs> premieres are fun premiere was fun that was my first time trying it out right and at some point for uh just to give you guys a heads up uh we we got approved for joining on youtube as members as well so that should be going live sooner rather than later as soon as we get the final approval from youtube yeah the premiere was super fun super fun and uh we're also announcing everything on twitter okay gap mines vk and Ello. so you can follow the work there and i do announce the you know linking up to the patreon page where we have our schedule for the live streams going on and again we're loading these on youtube and bitshoot right now and i definitely want to make it three platforms i do have a daily motion account a vimeo account that we loaded up initially our early early math videos from 2007 2008 2009 they are available on vimeo and bitshoot uh, not too much uh, the first wave of me getting on line was sharing stuff uh, but we'll see where we go from there and we are in times of a pandemic and flatten the curve is where we want to be at right do not overwhelm your medical establishment your healthcare workers because they're trying to save lives and the less people get sick and the smaller the wave is that is going through hospitals medical systems all around the world the more people they will be able to help and the last thing any 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 community wants to have is your medical workers getting sick right because one nurse one doctor getting sick you know i don't want to put weight on it but i'm pretty sure you could that has a much bigger impact on the community than anybody else getting sick because they are taking care of the sick right so flatten the curve is the name of the game gang okay flatten the curve is the name of the game if anyone wants to play diplomacy answer in the patreon chat and the, yes for sure and we do have a discord page and always be making has suggested that if anybody wants to play diplomacy uh, we can probably set up a game where i'll be the arbiter what we could do is set up a set up a set up have a setup like this 
right i'll put up the tripod with a with a camera on the diplomacy board and i'll arbitrate get them show the movements and stuff like this and anybody that wants to play the game can send all their movements to me and i'll read them and do the movements and let the people do conduct their diplomacy and we'll put this on a time time base you know go official on it we'll decide what the time is so every 20 minutes the next movement has to be sent in or every you know you could do 10 minutes of diplomacy two minutes of writing down your instructions and then you know they send them to me and we do the movements uh, the logistics we can f sort out but anyone that knows the game of diplomacy um discord go to discord and uh, sign up uh, contact always be making it because he suggested it so we'll let him organize this whole thing and we can get games of diplomacy going and man that would be amazing 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 and if you guys have been on my channel and surfed around a little bit if you've been here since you know 14 years ago uh, I did attend the 2000 and um, 2007 2006 I can't remember the world dipcon okay and the North American championships I went there as a player but because it was such a amazing event and I hadn't seen anybody record the world diplomacy championships what I ended up doing I pulled out of the games and I went home and I grabbed my little camcorder it's a little um, mini DV camcorder and I went to the tournament and for the weekend I walked around and videotaped people videotape games and we have a whole bunch of videos on our YouTube channel that are from the 2006 2000 so I can't remember now uh, 2005, 2006 it might be 2005 2007 world diplomacy championships that you know I cut up I have a lot more footage but those are the ones I ended up just loading on um, that I just walked around interviewed people recorded people recorded games and it's a phenomenal game one of the 10 out of 10 okay if you want to learn how to play always be making linked up to a video where um, the person was going through the how to play uh, process on it okay well that was a long intro for the diplomacy stuff eh? I got you got me excited brother uh, I haven't shaved in a while nice spider-man facial hair is the best finally supporting on G, um, on twitch awesome grand uh, grant griffin grant j griffin welcome welcome been a youtube viewer for a while love all the content awesome thank you very much for coming to our live stream right anyone watch that indoor concert no i didn't uh, what concert i'm just going to take the patreon thing down and again patreon is where we're going to be loading up all all of our stuff and making sure we're up to date to everything okay the medical ship docked in new york city earlier with a crowd of 100 people standing around cheering nice hey chicho twitching jason welcome welcome diplomacy that's on your 2017 game uh collection video right uh is it 2007 i put up a i made up a playlist for games and i believe i created a playlist just for the diplomacy as well i might not have uh, so it's not 2000 and uh, 17 I, actually i do show the board in 2017 they're showing the gaming collection but the videos i'm mentioning they're from the mid 2000s uh, where i went to the to the event it was held at ubc in vancouver and i videotaped the whole thing i put a very informative video that tells how to play in the discord it's very easy to learn nice traswell how are you doing welcome welcome how are you guys so gang uh, and by the way we're once we start the reading I'm gonna turn off the chat turn off the notifications and turn off this video that you see here so we're just gonna enjoy this view and look at the comic book because I think uh, we're here to read comics right I'd rather not have any distractions or oh, aside you know just having the comic book read right I handmade an engraved diplomacy po board wow but it's stuck at school oh man handmade wooden it must be wooden yeah diplomacy man what an addictive game it'll destroy your relationships <laughs> and if you ever played it you'll know exactly what i mean hello peeps hand hand mit kluft 
the hun how are you doing lurky here lurk away brother or sister of course hey chicho how are you elliot how are you doing doing good here man <laughs> i mumbled my words mumbled my words so gang what should we read okay let me give you the lowdown on this we did this yesterday as well so let me read you this okay that way you guys can decide what you want to take a look at okay this guy here is alarming tales number six okay let me bring this up so alarming tales number six okay it's the last issue of the series it came out it's wood and engraved with wood burning um uh, pyrography 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 is that when you burn with a torch the uh, the wood so this is harvey comics it was published in 1958 okay it's the last issue of the series obviously flying saucer on the cover and the artists involved with this are ray ray bailey fred kidda paul reeman al williamson angelo torres okay and the cover of this is john severn right john severn is huge ec comics al williamson is huge i'm not too familiar with the other artists on this but the story that al williamson has worked on in this series okay that is a prototype for ant-man so if it was for marvel comics you would consider this to be the first appearance of ant-man right but it's basically a prototype for ant-man so they tested it out and it's basically ant-man really it literally is ant-man that they took over to marvel and introduced the character there but it was first here so this is a pretty important book and i've read that story i was when we got the hall uh we looked at it during the stream uh during the what do you call it uh, the comic book hall and all of these in are from a com from comic book halls in the last two years that we grabbed right um so i looked at it i read it i was curious and it's fantastic right this next one is and by the way this guy how much did we pay for this da, 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 da. hold on i got the price we got an amazing deal on this guy okay we paid we paid we paid we paid we paid this this baby here cost 850 canadian 637 us which is an amazing deal and graded at uh, good very good okay this guy dinosaurus dinosaurus this guy is from 1960 printed in 1960 it's four color number 1120 dell four color number 1120 is their movie classics so it's from uh, a movie I, I think the movie came out in 1959 or 1960 so around the same period and supposedly there's a photo cover of this at the back of this with the cast that were in the movie okay um and the artist for this the script is eric free uh free word and robert schaefer and the art is jesse marshall okay so this one got one vote yesterday and i think martin voted for this on discord <laughs> i mean who could resist dinosaurs really check out this guy check out this guy this guy is the atomic age it's one of the golden age actually this is silver age as well this is 1958 it came out so no golden age here silver age tail end of the golden age beginning of silver age right so atomic combat number one is the only issue of the series and it's dick Ayers artwork and i believe it's jack kirby inc i only found one place that mentioned it was jack kirby inking so i can't you know we're not 100 percent sure on that but a couple of places were mentioning that this is dick Ayers uh, artwork right and uh, st john's publication and st john's publication these guys here they are highly sought after uh, comics and this is graded at good minus okay and this one is graded at uh, good the dinosaur one is graded at good hey chicho what are your thoughts on kenobi uh he claims he is bruce wayne's <laughs> i don't know i don't know kenobi 
Okay, no body. I have no idea. I have no idea, Iron. Uh, wait a second. No, I'm not familiar. Is Where is this from? This is uh, obviously DC Comics, right? But uh, which issues? I, haven't, I don't think I've read that one. I put a picture on Discord, but yeah, it's uh, stuck on school now, okay? And this would be amazing to take a look at as well. And this guy cost... Uh, what did this guy cost me? What did this guy cost us, I guess? Because uh, a couple of these books uh, were funded uh, by Nicholas, right? This one cost us twelve fifty Canadian, uh, nine thirty seven US, which is a fantastic deal. Which is a fantastic deal. I popped off for a second. I'm hoping for dinos. <laughs> Do you want dinos? <laughs> nice. And this one. I grabbed, I believe, in the last or second last comic book haul. Comics for collectors. Okay, dragons. Comics for collectors, your pick. This one is graded at fine, 6.0. And it's comics for collectors number two, comics price list. So it's a catalog. This was an actual company, Grand Book Center, that you could have ordered their catalog. They have an order form here as well that you would have sent it in. And you could have bought these books and i've and i looked at some of the prices in these in the catalog <laughs> man i wish i could go back in time and <laughs> order this whole catalog right just say send me everything please okay well almost everything let's say 80 percent of everything they had here right uh, fantastic right like just the price and we'll look at this at some point and i bought this um uh, the price that i would pay for this i think it was 12 dollars or 10 dollars or something like this canadian my maximum bid for this because i never seen this come up and i did searches and you can't find this i couldn't find it right um it's a it's a catalog from 1968 to 1970 right and uh it's got it's 40 pages plus and it's got two extra pages of mail-in ordering right um and my max bid for this was way way higher and at some point we're going to take a look at this the prices here and link it up with asmr mathematics and see how the prices varied have you know what your return on investment would have been okay so gang what should we read what should we read so we got one dino going we got one comics for collector vote uh i vote we got one atomic age i think it has been uh dinosaurs just because of how excited you were last time ah and angered dinosaur sounds really awesome so we got uh three for dinosaurs right now kenobody is a personal trainer that unfortunately lost his father at an at a young age he inherited his father's mansion in toronto and follows the philosophy of, of the batman I have no idea who this person is we got four people for dinos i think we're going for dinos gang i was emotionally distressed over last night's love story. seriously the last one was very uh the first we read uh by the way we read a romance comic uh 1972 romance comic yesterday uh, so it we're going with the dino we got five votes for dino right now so we read uh 1972 romance comic from Mar marvel comics we got two for atomic age uh, we will be looking at all these in the future as well right so we're just narrowing it down on what we're going to take a look at today and the romance comic it was uh one of the writers on it was stan lee we had john boshima we had alan wise um we had a couple other people that have worked on it there was four stories total the first three were like happy ending you know they they kiss they're they're in love and everything like this the last one was a depressing story <laughs> it was like wait a second why end with a sad story but it was beautiful it was beautiful and uh it is it it will be released today i believe after this live stream i'm gonna uh what do you call it premiere it on youtube so after this live stream we'll go on youtube and <laughs> getting on the chat just to premiere the video right get that reading uh circulating and then two days from now we'll have this one up on bit shoot and youtube okay gang we're going with a dinosaurus right but we got two votes for a tom i haven't cracked this open yet i I'll, these things when i decide i want to read them except for this one i looked at it when we decide i want to read them i hold off 
flipping through them or reading them until we do them together okay ha, just watch the trailer for dinosaurs i recommend everyone does the same <laughs> nice <laughs> And the movie I think came out at the same time, 1960, right? This thing, this thing is 1960. I think it was. Let me bring up my sheet here. Uh, yeah, 1960, painted cover. Here, let me read you the 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 write up for the movie. Uh, Dinosaurus is a 1960 science fiction film directed by Irvin Yeworth and produced so it is 1960 same time and produced by jack h uh, harris the le leading role was intended for steve mcqueen check this out the leading role was intended for steve mcqueen who starred in the blob and if you haven't seen the blob i highly recommend watching the blob with steve mcqueen starring it's fantastic right who starred in the blob two years earlier also produced by harris and directed by yeworth but for reasons not clear the offer was never made to mcqueen oh and this is from wiki that i read okay day seven and lockdown is going well need more baked beans though oh big big i just made some pasta today uh pa my pasta recipe i'll share i'll share this with you just pasta is easy to make because you use whatever you got in the fridge right so i uh, chopped up the onions right fry the onions and let the onions fry for about 10 minutes or so and i chopped up garlic uh yellow red and uh, orange peppers tomatoes threw those in there mixed it all up okay uh, threw in some of the dried mint that we have some oregano some uh, basil i think basil or no um thyme some thyme salt okay and then i cut up some mushrooms through that in there like a fair bit and made enough pasta to feed us for like three days right so right now during pandemic times we're doing one cook we're cooking whatever that needs to be cooked in the fridge right anything that's been there the longest we're cooking for three days two to three days we eat that and then we hit it up again right uh recommend recommend should we do the reading gang gluten oh martin you're gluten tolerant oh i love my gluten i love my gluten but you can use uh, you can get pasta rice pasta which is great you can cook it up the sauce you can just mix it in with rice right i haven't worked in three weeks and i honestly don't want to go back <laughs> yeah. one thing i i recommend if you have the means and if you're financially stable enough you don't have you're not living from paycheck to paycheck and if you want to change your way of being right you need minimum minimum of three months off three months of not working for an institution for an organization three months away from a daily routine for you to sort out who you are what you want to do how you want to interact with the world and where you want to put your energy three months minimum once you do that very difficult to go back to that nine to five gig macro panicia panishi 31 wow 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 i know kenobi he's extremely talented in martial arts he also follows the wimp hoof method he is seriously an inspirational and dangerous and i have no idea who this person is. <laughs> uh, uh, I, if I was doing a little search, I search up this thing just to see if this is not a trolling action, right? I eat rice, lots of rice. Rice is amazing. I came for comics. I got a recommendation for change my way of me. <laughs> Trash well, nice little Bangor. That's where I'm at mentally, but I'm still working from home. I think I want to uh, freelance software or something. I hate the nine to five. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I've done a very little and i realized early on that i wasn't into it i was looking for the time to take off for just that reason awesome dragons so gang should we do a reading how are we in we're half an hour in so we're about 15 minutes faster getting to the reading this time than we were last time okay so i'm going to turn off the notifications here uh just so just for those who are following who are going to be subbing and if there is any subs or follows thank you for the subs thank you for the follows 
okay the chat I'm gonna turn off and I'm gonna turn off my video this top one that you're gonna see here and we're gonna do a reading and the intro for this is gonna be speedy Gonzalez we're gonna go right into it okay the intro is basically uh, the script is Eric Fee Ward and Robert oh we don't want to have that in the thing Jess Marshall is the artist for this turn off messages on screen yeah I did excited for this woohoo yeah me too oh dinosaurs <laughs> nice gaining anarchism awesome I'm gonna turn off the screen too yang boom let's center this baby so what are we in what are we in make a note half an hour in okay hi gang welcome to our channel welcome to another live stream reading of a comic book and for those of you who are going to be watching this on youtube or bitchute or any other platform we are live streaming this on twitch okay and we do announce our live stream schedule on patreon and we do do announce the videos when they're released on youtube and bitchute uh, when we do release them on patreon and if you want to support this project patreon is a great way to support this project or just to follow the work that we're doing because nothing's behind the paywall everything is being shared uh, so you don't have to support funds to follow the work because you can you'll be able to read all the posts okay and we do announce stuff on youtube uh, on twitter gab minds elo and vk if you want to follow this work and again uploading these videos to youtube and bitshoot and right now is march 30th 2020 we're in the middle of a pandemic global and well, while pandemic definition is global i guess name of the game is to flatten the curve not to overwhelm your healthcare systems right protect your healthcare workers and yourself and flatten the curve and reduce your physical distancing i don't like the word social distancing because what we're doing here right now is social very very social we're going to read a comic book together 1960s comic book and it's a four color 1120 okay from dal movie classics and this comic book came out the same year as the movie came out and uh, the script for this is written by uh, eric freeward uh, and robert schaefer and the artwork is jesse marsh okay and this thing we is graded at good which is 2.0 okay and we bought this in the last year two years and this baby here cost us 25 cents canadian 19 cents us what a deal what a deal right what a deal what a deal so i'm going to take this out of the bag okay let's take this baby out and for some reason it doesn't have the comic code on here uh, so it's not comic code approved so i'm not sure if all the movie um, dell movie classics these guys here were not comic book approved or they were comic book, book approved uh, we do have some of them but uh, i don't see the comic code here jack h harris productions check this out 1960 1960 jack h harris production and during the live stream that we're doing right now in 30 minutes that uh, took us to do chat and decide which comic book we were going to read um, there's a little write-up on wiki that i read for this where initially it was supposed to be steve mcqueen that was going to be the star of dinosaurus the movie that came out that this comic book was based on uh, and steve mcqueen was one of the you know great actors from 1950s 1960s and uh he did you know, he did bullet and he did a few other movies one of the movies he did was the blob and the blob is one of the best b movies from that period and this is the back cover should we take a look at this read the back cover let's read the back cover why not dinosaur dina dinosaurus terrible lizards oh man look at this so take a look at this so this is graded at good um 
yeah i would give this i would probably grade this higher than a good and we're not going to flip through this we're just going to start reading it so let's start reading the back cover for now we'll take a look at the front cover again and apologies if the camera is not as sweet as our hd camera the stuff might be a little blurry but at some point we're going to do an upgrade to the system and uh, and get better quality images but this one's not bad eh dinosaurus terrible lizards when fossils of extinct reptiles began to make an impression on men of science england's richard owen decided to give the fossils a name to classify them dinosaur was the name he chose and it was it is derived from two greek words dinos terrible and saurus lizard really thus meaning terrible lizard an appropriate name so that's what dinosaur means that is crazy cool i never looked this up so dinosaur definition according to this right up here um, is from the greek words dinos which means terrible and saurus which means lizard let's continue this let's see what it tells us let's see if we can get this thing focused nicely maybe maybe not oh there we go there we go zoom back out a little bit there we go dinosaur dinosaurs lived during a mesozoic period of early history which began over 200 million years ago and ended about 60 million years ago they were dis distributed worldwide for their remains have been discovered and gathered from every part of the earth they were cold-blooded animals and lived in a time when the temperature of the world was uniform and semi-tropical their inability to adjust to the cooling off of the world's climate is one reason for their disappearance from the face of the earth wow oh oh, oh. we lost the focus we lost the focus let's continue this i like the information we get from these eh? let's take a look all dinosaurs were egg-laying animals but little is known of their family life apparently eggs were laid on land in the sand and left to hatch in the sun nests have been discovered with remains of unhatched embryos still within the ancient eggs some reptiles were carniv carnivorous meat eaters but others were herbivorous and lived mostly in swamps where plants were plentiful the plant eaters grew much larger than the meat eaters but they were always at the mercy of the vicious carno carnivorous beasts that's cool terrible so dinosaurus means terrible lizards wow i had no idea very cool excavating the eggs and look at this there's dinosaur remains being discovered there cool 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 and the cover is beautiful by the way painted cover look at that i haven't seen this movie dinosaurus stone age monsters return to life cool let's go through this book let's do some dinosaur reading oh these are the pictures from the movie take a look at this awesome jack h harris universal international presents jack h harris this is like dirty ward ramsey greg martell co-starring ward ramsey greg martell christina uh, hansen alan roberts with paul luca wayne trendy fred something fred ingleberg lucy blaine screenplay by larry ward and gordon russell and this movie was uh, produced by the same people that made uh, uh, the blob as well right <laughs> check this out look at this thing let's see if we can focus it 
Nice. The stop action, uh, motion action stuff was phenomenal during that period, right? Construction of an island harbor is halted, and from the icy depths, two prehistoric dinosaurs are hoisted ashore. First a tyrannos Tyrannosaurus, and then a Brontosaurus. There's the Brontosaurus. Claymation, I believe, these guys would be. Let's read these guys, too. Get this thing focused. Let it focus. <laughs> Get trippy dinosaur action going. Let me read these to you guys. While panic sweeps across the island, Julio, a small orphan boy, seems unafraid as he uses his plastic models to explain the huge animals to his friends. Haha. <laughs> Take a look. Look at the smokers. Julio becomes friendly with the herbivorous Brontosaurus and is born uh, born to a born to a spot of safety by the huge monster who senses that he too is a prey for the other dinosaur. The T Rex. Oh, I didn't realize there was Neanderthals in there too. With the dinosaurs comes another link from the past, a caveman who befriends Julio and his friends as they hunt down the big animals that plunder and wreck the island. But another kind of hunt goes on, a hunt for the caveman by a greed-filled scoundrel who plans to capture and exhibit the prehistoric man to the world. Ooh. Look at that. With a gun. Fun. I don't know what the rating of the book is, of the movie is. But if it's a B movie from that period, I would say probably five or six. Cool artwork. Cute. Let's go through this. Look at that dinosaur. <laughs> Let's just start reading this right uh, oh there's a little chunk missing here check and this definitely kicks it down uh it, it's good good minus i would say on this right because a part of the story is missing uh-oh uh-oh take a look at this let's read the fine print for this too okay we've been reading the fine print of everything dinosaurus number 11 20 published by Dell Publishing Company Incorporated 753rd Avenue New York New York 17 New York George T de la Court Jr. publisher Helen Meyer president Paul R Lilly executive vice president William F Callahan Jr. vice president Harold Clark vice press advertising uh, director Albert P. De La, De La Corte, treasurer, treasurer, all rights reserved throughout the throughout the world. Authority uh, authorized edition based on the motion picture Dinosaurus, printed in the U.S., designed and produced by Western Publishing and Litho Lithography Company. Copyright 1960 by Jack H. Harris. This periodical shall be sold only through authorized dealers. Sales of mutilated copies or copies without cover and distributed at this periodical for uh, premiums, advertising, or giveaways are strictly forbidden. And one of the reasons, um, from what I understand, they say you, they weren't allowed to sell copies of comics from the Golden Age and Silver Age without the covers on them because these things used to be sent to the newspaper stands right so because you had to ship them and whatnot whatever copies they weren't able to sell they could send back to the publisher and they would get credit for it right but they didn't want to ship the whole book because the whole book would be too much right so what the publishing houses told them to do uh, the newspaper stands 
they would just tear off the covers and just send the covers and each cover would be counted as one comic and they would get credit for the number of covers they sent back right so if you're buying comic books you'll see there are some comic books that you can buy that don't have the covers and the odds are those are from and even right now i believe when a comic book is damaged they tear out the covers and send them back to the publisher or the distributor diamond usually and get credit for it right so that's the reason that these guys have that fine print on there okay so should we have a little read through this i'm not sure if this is a complete story of the movie or whatnot but we're gonna find out okay. we'll find out dinosaurus on a tropical island bart thompson and his construction crew prepare to set off a series of dynamite charges in the harbor mucked up for sure good minus good good minus look bart there's a boat in the harbor oh yeah right there take a look let's see if we can zoom it in for you good heavens and those charges are about to go off it's betty turn back get out of the harbor she thinks you're only waving at her uh senior part she is waving back oh, oh. suddenly an onslaught of water washes the girl overboard help ah. that's probably her picnic basket oh there's the boy i'm assuming right there that's cool This is like golden age size. Hang on, Betty. What a lovely welcome for a girl who was only bringing you some refreshments, Mr. Thomas. We tried to warn you those were delayed action charges. Now where are you going? down to Devi Jones's locker to get that portable portable ice box darling I took I took hours preparing your lunch and I don't intend to lose it now wow down she goes Bart follows there's nothing in the world like a stubborn woman and as Betty searches the harbor she can hold her breath for a while eh? and the water's not working oh and she says a dinosaur what hey, look at this <laughs> i love the picture of the dinosaur and this is cut out right so we don't know what happens here oh we we're losing the reaction of the girl unfortunately so the story is incomplete unfortunately gang she sees an incredible sight what would that say seconds later she's passed out maybe right. after the rescue is made betty's friends give her first aid take it easy betty don't try and talk you've taken a lot of water i i i saw it was horrible chuck take another uh diver check out the channel channel bottom there's something strange down there the water was ice cold we might have blown the lid 
off a suburban river suburban river subterranean river right bart inside the crew's work shack betty explained what she had what she has seen to a doubtful bart you've got to believe me i saw it a green monster with a head the size of this room huh don't you realize a drowning person often has hallucinations i'm a good swimmer i wasn't drowning i was just scared to death because of that monster i swear it she says check out the monster here's the dinosaur awesome look at the teeth on that thing Arr. that's the t-rex right it's got the sharp teeth wow we don't know what this one says because we we're missing the story from here as well check, look at the smile on this guy Oh yeah we can't read that so there's only partial stuff page here we can read uh, we've monster to ever think uh, knocking hack Oop, we don't know what that says all doors on this island are open to me boss man I came here to complain about the noise you've been making those explosions are making making the citizenry a little angry as island manager i've got a right so he must have said something to him let's see what this guy says island manager you're supposed to cooperate with us you're supposed to cooperate with us this job couldn't be behind schedule if you couldn't get sky couldn't be scans behind schedule if you gotten those native workers you promised us but no you're more interested in your own pocketbook you'll cooperate but for a price he says bart that's not fair open your eyes betty stop being seeing monsters and see the truth for a change hackers not fooling anyone bart bart person calls out Bart if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes I never would have believed it there were two of them monsters he says two huge ugly dinosaurs perfectly perfectly preserved at the bottom of the channel frozen solid for millions of years he says ah look at the smug look on her face look at the smug look on her face nice now what have you got to say bart thompson i i guess i owe you an apology betty the governor's still in washington we'll send him a wire and have him contact uh, this smithsonian we'll bring the critters up and put them on the beach we can move them with the big crane the guy says can i trust you to send this message hacker you've got my word thompson and a witness one thing before i leave boss man i don't want julio around here anymore He's just a curious boy hacker he's not hurting anyone and we enjoy letting him watch I'm his guardian and I say he stays away if you don't want trouble see that you pay attention just cooperate hacker and lay off the threats you're awfully rough on him bart she says i don't trust him as far as i could throw him throw a, 
a dinosaur. One of these days, you'll realize I'm right about him. Island natives congregate to watch the usual operation. Okay, Lou. We're all hooked up. Bring her in nice and easy. Here goes, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Moments later, the head of the ty ty Tyrannosaurus appears. Is he alive, Senor Bart? No, Julio. He's frozen stiff. Thank goodness, the girl says. A second prehistoric monster is brought up from the ocean floor. Look, it's a brontosaurus. How did you know his name? It's named Julio. educated in those things i get models of dinosaurs in cereal boxes the brontosaurus is herbivorous a vegetarian vegetarian he is good it is the Ty tyrannosaurus who is the danger dangerous one he would eat anything that got in his way professor julio you're amazing she says well julio looks like you have full-grown models to investigate now nice that's a kid's dream <laughs> look at him laying on their side awesome now what bart we'd better put a guard on the beach tonight keep an eye on eye uh, that none of the natives disturb them we want them intact for the smithsonian Suddenly, Senor Bart, Senor Bart, Julio says. Look, he is alive. No, Julio, he's just thawing out. Now, you'd better uh, go on home. You can see them again tomorrow, he says. That night, O'Reilly draws the job of watching the big animals. Imagine me garden. A couple of dinosaurs now whom the tarnations could steal anything weighing more than 50 tons crazy job if you ask me he says. Nah, check this out Check this out. Let's take a look. At that moment on the beach, if that explosion turned up dinosaurs, there might be other things that suddenly hacker spots something nearby and investigates. It's it's a prehistoric man. His arm is sticking out, eh? Take a look. Oh, and the dinosaurs behind them too. Seeing O'Reilly, Hacker drags his find off the beach. I'll hide him until later. I can take him to the mainland and make a fortune. 
looks like a tropical storm but I think my discoverer is safe here so it's hiding in the bushes what a great night for a storm and me out here with two monsters for company later in the back room of the village cantina you wanted to see me boss it's a miserable night to get me out no matter what just sit and listen jasper you won't mind when you hear what i've got to say We're gonna be rich as soon as the storm lets up we'll take my little discovery and sell him for a fortune I found a genuine prehistoric caveman is he dead he asks of course he's dead stupid he's prehistoric that's what makes him so valuable <laughs> that's funny that's funny weren't you sending some telegraph to washington what if they find out i didn't send it by the time thompson finds out we'll be out of here with our million year old friend the boat is ready and waiting the wind and lightning increase as bart and betty finish dinner at the cantina i'd better get home soon bart mother is probably worried I'm sorry I picked such a bad night to take you to dinner, he says. Signor Bart, Sen Senorita Betty, I have been looking for you, Julio. These are my plastic model dinosaurs I told you about. I thought you might like to see them say these are really something nice it's got a little box of plastic dinosaurs this is the same image as here right on the front front back cover so right here where he's showing them the dinosaurs right that's cool so this is probably the full story of the movie nice now let's take a look at the full thing right getting too excited want to continue with the story this one is the brontosaurus he's the vegetarian Juli and julio i told you to stay in uh in back and do your chores now before I no please I only wanted to he says oh he smacks him don't argue with me boy leave him alone hacker smack stay out of this Thompson he's my kid I am not my mother and father are dead you are only a guardian he says Oh, he's crunching up his dinosaurs. That's not nice. I'll teach you to talk back to me. Crunch, crunch. You've broken them. I hate you. I'm going to run away and never come back, Julio says. Oh, poor kid's running. He's, he's crying. come back here no I will never come back Julio Julio let him go he'll get hungry and cold enough and he'll be back whining for 
whining for food and warm bed. I'm going to find him, Betty. Wait here. If anything happens to that boy, Hacker, I swear, I'll take it out on your hide. I was wrong about you, Mr. Hacker. You're a monster, she says. Bart searches the storm sweep darkness. Storm swept the darkness. Julio, Julio, it's me, Bart Thompson. Come back. I won't let him hurt you. But the tearful Julio does not heed the call. Sob, sob. I will never go back to Hacker. Never. The violent storm increases in fury. There's lightning in the back. Wow. Oh, and the lightning strikes the dinosaurs. Take a look, take a look. Lightning gives life. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning hits the power generator and arcs to the bodies of the monsters on the beach. Cracks. The lightning goes across. Across the island, the lights go out. The power's been cut. I'd better go out and see if the lightning damaged those pre prehistoric animals as the watchman moves through the darkness another figure rises from the edge of, of the jungle suddenly Aye! it's got to be the prehistoric guy prehistoric caveman oh look at the dinosaurs they're up and about the terrified watchman runs but then a worse danger rises out of the eerie windswept night the monsters they've come alive look at the tongue of the brontosaurus I've got to get some of that dynamite. It's my only chance. <laughs> Trembling, O'Reilly grabs some sticks of dynamite from the shack. Dynamite, first response is to blow them up. Oh my God. He's lighting them. Urk. The T-Rex. The dynamite fuse is lit. Oh, no. Serious. He wants to blow up the dinosaurs. Oh, go boom. Oh, no. Oh, this thing is detached. The center cover is detached. Right. That's okay. The watchman does not have time to escape. Oh man, he blew himself up. And the dynamite explodes, taking everything with it. In the cantina where Bart has returned without finding Julio. What was that? It wasn't thunder, that's for sure. Let's go, he said. Shortly, Dumpy returns with a report. 
Not a sign of anything, boss. O'Reilly and everything gone, including those dinosaurs. It's just not possible, he says. Then Chuck makes a discovery. Bart, look, those tracks. It, it isn't possible. I, I don't believe it. And yet, what else can we believe? This island is without power. And right now, two prehistoric monsters are somewhere in that jungle alive. The alarm is spread and the island residents flee their homes to take refuge in an old fortress on the top of a hill. Bart gives the order for all the construction equipment to be moved to the fortress. Drive with your headlights out. There's no telling where those monsters are lurking. My mother's alone at the house, and Julio will find both of them, Betty. Don't worry, he says. I'll make some fire bombs with gasoline and bottles, Bart, just in case we run into trouble. Good idea. We'll need all the de defense possible if those monsters, uh, dinosaurs attack. We'll keep in, keep in touch with Chuck at the fortress on the walkie-talkie radio. Meanwhile, in the jungle, the Brontosaurus, he, he's alive. Gulp. <laughs> Look at the, the Neanderthals out and about. <laughs> awesome. Let's read. Let's read it in order. No spoilers. No spoilers. Remembering all he has learned about this monster, Julio stands his ground. Re remember, you're a friendly vegetarian, just like it says on the cereal box we're going to be friends julio says the huge beast seems to sense the boy is a friend and then oh oh that's the tyr tyrannosaurus you'd better run and hide where he won't follow you if he catches us he'll eat us both up e ah. I guess that's the sound of the T-Rex. Go on, please, run. Don't you know that a uh, Tyrannosaurus likes the taste of a Brontosaurus even better than he likes people? Now go. He's pushing a dinosaur's leg. The animal responds to Julio's plea. That a boy, run for your life. Take care of yourself. I, I'll see you soon. I hope. He says. Here comes the caveman. Also, Julio crutches in the brush, as the tyrant, as the tyrant. Tyrannosaurus thunders past. Gosh, I sure hope Brontosaurus gets away. On another part of the island, Betty's mon mother awaits her return. The cave mask questioning what's going on. <laughs> awesome. The caveman approaches the strange house and peers in the window. It is a toss-up 
as to which is the mo most frightened. Help! Uh, oh, there goes a box of chocolates. Arg, arg. The caveman says. Timidly, he enters the house. Grrr. And suddenly, he sees a reflection of himself in a mirror. Arg. Smashes it right away. Let me try to get this focus for you guys. Ah, that's the best we can do on this one. Bravely, he attacks the mirror, mirror enemy. And being very hungry, he tries some of the wax fruit or two wax fruit i never understood wax fruit i know people that have it check this out <laughs> check that one out no spoilers let's keep on reading the story no looking ahead no looking ahead minutes later senorita betty is is anyone home julio enters the kitchen and who are the caveman says holy smokes you're a real caveman julio says gosh you must be cold and hungry why don't you try this pie i don't think senorita betty would mind <laughs> Look, i'll eat it up oh. see i'm your friend nice. we found him jasper Julio's with him. What if the kid gets hurt? He says. I don't care about the brat. Just go along. Just so long as we get that prehistoric man alive now he's worth twice as much get back kid no leave him alone julio says oh they got rope they want to tie him up oh and he's got a gun look at that and again this is the same type of picture from uh, the front cover right from the movie Stay out of the way. Get the ropes on him. Run, caveman, run. They're trying to capture you. The caveman realizes the danger and senses that Julio is also in trouble. He throws a pie in his face. Come on, let's get out of here grabs the caveman's uh, finger they're getting away he says we've got to keep after them we'll run all night if we have to but we've got to catch them he says check this out a short time later, Bart and Dumpy arrive, as be at our, arrive at Betty's house. Nobody here, but this place is sure a sight. Looks like someone went through uh, here with a bulldozer, Dumpy. The mirror's cracked. 
the frames all tilted Bart my mother's not here something's happened come on now we've got to be brave her car's gone maybe she's at the fortress with Chuck dumpy see if you can contact Chuck on the walkie-talkie in the Jeep okay Bart he says what do we do now Bart head for the fortress do you have a first aid kit we might need it yes I'll get it she says boss I've got Chuck he says Betty's mother is there and safe you want to talk to him <laughs> oh no no spoilers I looked at the pan on the hand awesome awesome thank heavens she's all right Chuck how are things at the fortress he asks so far so good not a sign of the monsters but betty's mother said she saw an ape man an ape man she was probably so scared she really didn't know what she saw he says any sign of julio yet no not yet you can look for him on the way here come on dumpy betty let's get moving we've got no time to lose i'm with you boss the sooner we get behind those fortress walls the better i'll better i'll like it <laughs> the writing the writing the bind <laughs> brontosaurus suddenly the brontosaurus burst out of the jungle great heavens julio and that monster and who is that next to him it seems your mother wasn't seeing things after all unless i'm wrong that's a genuine caveman that's <laughs> right a brontosaurus awesome oh the t-rex is here oh let's read let's read come on dumpy we've got to get that boy betty you stay back as the brontosaurus runs through the jungle julio seems to be enjoying himself boy this is some ride he says the wind blowing the girl's hair is blowing on one side right that's cool You know, you are one terrific caveman. I've never had so much fun in my life. Never knew I could ride him till you came along and showed me, Julio says. Suddenly, Julio and the caveman react to the shriek of the pursuing Tyrannosaurus. And at that same moment, they come upon Betty. Julio, Julio, it's me, Betty. Senorita Betty, run. Go away. Look out behind you. Oh, no, she screams. Look of horror. Oh. 
moving very fast the caveman grabs his axe and prepares to do battle with the tyrannosaurus Ike. and then he dispatch uh, dispatches the brontosaurus to carry julio out of out of danger Urgh. on the ground that's the caveman talk bravely the caveman faces the huge beast just as just as it is about to descend upon betty help help she screams quickly he hurls his weapon at the monster the caveman picks betty up and runs off into the jungle as the Tyrannosaurus shrieks in pain. I don't know how to pronounce that sound effect. Look at him, just picked up Betty. Strong. She's in a cave with a caveman. Cool. Don't. He saved her life, but there's no telling what he might do next. Come on. He's running with uh, Betty on his side here. <laughs> Look at him go. <sighs> Boss. This is all like a bad dream. Sure glad we have these gasoline bombs. Jeez. Gasoline bombs take it easy, people. Bart and Dumpy search frantically, but an hour later, I'm lost, boss. Do you have any idea where we are? The house is back that way. We've just got to keep looking, he says. the same moment in an old mine shaft nearby you saved my life I don't know how to thank you I'm very grateful she says I have friends out there they wait for me I better go Oof, the caveman says <laughs> the tongue of the bar brontosaurus is always sticking out but the caveman thinking betty would be in danger outside the cave will not let her go i i take it you don't want me to leave well all right you're the boss she says meanwhile julio is having his problems with his huge pal whoa please stop you're just running around <laughs> in a circle we will end up back where we started and the tyrannosaurus will eat us up he says oh the dinosaurs are gonna go at it But the brontosaurus does not heed julio's pleas and a few moments later oh there he is knowing he must fight the huge animal gently slides the boy to the ground there he is to the death 
is imminent as the two dinosaurs move for a position of advantage both shrieking wildly run my big amigo you are no match for the Tynarosaurus. boss look Julio's right between those monsters He'll be crushed. The wind's still blowing like mad, eh? No, not that way. That's quicksand. Follow me. Lead on, he says. Oh, quicksand. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Oh. Oh, no. T-Rex is taking down the Brontosaurus. Check it out, check it out. The Brontosaurus puts up a valiant battle, but he is no match for the fierce teeth and jaws of the Tyrannosaurus. Julio, get back, get back. Leave my friend alone. You bad old Tyrannosaurus. He's throwing rocks at him. Oh, oh. The sound of battle bring Betty and the caveman from inside the mine shaft. Oh, Julio will be killed, she says. The brave caveman rushes out to help his little friend. Look at Julio is throwing rocks at the T Rex. And with great speed, he sweeps Julio to safety. It's the caveman again. Hang on tight, Julio. It looks like he's trying to tell us we can find safety that way. Well, let's not argue with him. He seems to know what he's doing. Oh no. As the caveman leads Bart, Dumpy, and Julio to the safety of the old mine shaft. The brave Brontosaurus is forced into the quicksand and his, by his enemy. Thank goodness Betty is safe, he says. Oh, the Brontosaurus is... Oh, and a few moments later, the epic struggle is over. Oh, my big friend is gone, Julio says. Easy, Julio. He saved your life. He's gone into the quicksand here, right? That's his tail, I guess. He's trying to tell us to get further inside the shaft. And that's why. Look. I don't have to be told twice everybody get back a moment later the huge beast is tearing at the entrance oh look at him he's kicking it crack, crack. oh this guy's got his greed at a time greed at a time of chaos right the caveman tries to fight him off let's keep this focused 
while close by. There's our man, Jasper. Yeah, but uh, look, boss, there's the monster. <laughs> you guys, like, I'm out. I know back entrance to that mine. Come on, but boss, I, uh, I'm scared of that monster. So I think I'll see you around. Come back here, you coward! Blam! He shoots his friend. Look at that. What a bum. Damn. No respect for life. Inside the cave like mine. Try to get that caveman back out of the way, Betty. I'm going to try to get a bomb right in that monster's mouth. When I throw this, everybody duck. The gasoline bombs there. Eh? Bart moves in close and throws the bomb. And scores a direct hit. Boom. That did it. He's running off. But he's heading right for the fortress. We've got to get there and help. Suddenly. You can go. But I'm keeping the monkey man. He's worth a fortune to me hacker he says oh try to get it focused there we go sort of let's check it out oh there we go people all over the world will pay to see him I'll be rich and famous, he says. Leave him alone, Julio says. Stay back, caveman. I could puncture holes in you with this play toy of mine. He doesn't know what a gun is, she says. Caveman's not happy. with the caveman right remember that hacker was the one who had tried to harm him in the house the caveman attacks hacker fires and at that moment the rotted mine timbers weakened by the bomb blast start to co collapse it's going to cave in caveman get out get out is breaking the banisters right look out caveman caveman Julio says my friend he has been killed I'm afraid he and hacker are both lost Julio now we must get to the fortress to help He was like the dinosaur holio and they know they don't belong in the world today the caveman knew that and i think he'd be happy if he knew you were going to try to make a better world for the next people who are going to use it see you're right we must help the others we've got to hurry the tyrannosaurus is probably there already Look 
the T-Rex. Look at the fortress. He's almost as tall as a fortress. Taller even. By the time Bart and his friends reached the fortress, the brave islanders and construction men are fighting for their lives. He'll destroy everything. Oh, Bart, what can we do? boss where are you going what are you going to do knock that dinosaur off the cliff bart climbs into the huge crane hope hop, hoping against hope hoping against hope his plan will work look at him hop onto the crane oh look at the t-rex he's just kicking the fortress walls in the back eh? Senior Bart is going to fight the monster. Bart works the con controls of the huge prehistoric mon monster as the so Bart works the controls as the huge prehistoric monster advances to give battle with the strange new enemy. Oh, look at this. It's all mucked up. Dirty, dirty. Oh, oh. Muddy, muddy. Let's have a read through this. Oh, someone mucked up the dinosaur. This comic book needs a cleaning. Bart swings the huge crane. Crane arm. And it strikes the monster. Here, I'll read this further away strikes the monster <laughs> strikes the monster uh, knocking it to the edge of a high cliff overlooking the ocean Grrr, there goes the monster 25 cent comic comes with dirt With a thunderous, thunderous rock, the monster sent crashing to his death. Ah, roar. And a moment later, the crisis passed. Bart, you were terrific. We're all alive and well, thanks to the caveman and the brontosaurus. And those tourists on that ship out there probably think nothing ever happened on this crazy little tropical island yeah they probably think we just sleep here because there's nothing else uh, to keep us busy the guy says that's cool let's read the read the I wonder if this is exactly the way the movie went by the way let's read this little uh, a pledge dealt comics to parents right the Dell trademark is and always has been a positive guarantee that the comic magazine bearing it contains only clean and wholesome entertainment the Dell code eliminates uh, eliminates entirely rather than regulates obje obje objectionable material that's why when your child buys a Dell comic, you can be sure it contains only good fun. Dell comics are good comics. Is our only credo and uh, and constant goal, right? So that's why it doesn't have the comic code. They're just uh, self censoring or producing G-rated stuff for kids, which is fine, right? And I think that's a better idea than the whole censorship thing. Should we read this one as well? let's read these guys that means we read everything in this book nice let's see if we can get this focused hard to get it focused let's check it out there we go dinosaur dinosaurus giant defenders 
Tyrannosaurus Rex was well named. Can you guys hear the rain? It's raining here right now. Sounds fantastic. Tyrannosaurus Rex was well named for his title meant tyrant and it was the fiercest of all dinosaurs it ruled the earth for millions of years hunting and feasting on the planet eating reptiles of its kingdom however nature provided the herbivores herbivorous beasts with some built-in protection to help defend themselves against the vicious terrible tyrant that's where it comes from tyrannosaurus tyrant right that's cool let's get this focused the brontosaurus thunder lizard so titled because its giant steps shook the earth was choice prey for meat eaters and had little natural protection but sought refuge in the streams and swamps for it could not uh, outrun its enemies on land it was just too big the proto topis first of the horn faces was a small dinosaur about five feet long its protection was a bony scaffold scaffolding about its head powerful neck and strong jaws although he had no true horn it was the ancestor of the true of the of the future true horn dinosaur the rain is amazing the tri tricep sepat set triceratops three horn face was equipped with a bony shield over its neck and shoulders three horns on its head and a powerful beak in face-to-face -face combat the triceratops was certain to be the victor wow the stegosaurus plated lizard small head and mouth offered its little uh, offered it little defense but its two uh, rows of plated pro uh, projections on its back and a long spike tail gave it a set of weapons feared by its hungry attackers that's cool let's get this focused get a look at those guys right. that's cool And we read this guy already right that was a nice read that was a nice read now we know what happens in the story right in the movie take a look take a look in the in the cover the the machines are way smaller than the dinosaurs right look at them all run is Julio here no julio and the girl are not here that was a fun read i hope you guys enjoyed and a great pick from chat on twitch fantastic and we're gonna do more of these readings by the way uh slowly over time and this this one uh the camera was able to focus a lot better than the last one we did so we might get a nice little rhythm going on with this aside from that i'm gonna go back to chat and uh, catch up with the chat i heard some noises of people subbing and following so thank you for the subs thank you for the follows gang and uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn on the chat and uh, turn on the notifications <laughs> there's a lot of chat going on <laughs> and turn on my this camera as well fun 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 that was a fun read love vintage comics yeah me too me too i have a few flash comics 
I'm not sure which era they are, but I have the first five issues. You have the first five issues, 1970. Oh, that's a great series, by the way. They came out. That's a great series. I actually plan on reading Flash number one. That's one of the books that uh, I put aside that I wanted to read. That Flash number one, by the way, from 1987, that's the comic that brought me back into collecting hardcore or brought me into collecting hardcore okay so oops sorry gang. so that was a that's an important comic for me that's a very important comic for me sorry if i freak you guys out i bang the bang the the light i really enjoyed that me too spot of tea that was a great read that was a great read that was great king solomon how are you doing king solomon 420 how are you doing love it love it chicho i'm so chilled right now nice nice tony the tiger hi hi case man how are you doing classic comic reading with you what a treat awesome bds how are you doing that caveman will be me in a few weeks <laughs> nice he was a good guy the caveman was a great guy I'm gonna go watch yesterday's reading once we're done here i think what did you read we read by the way spot of tea uh if you hold off about half an hour i'm gonna let it loose uh premiere it on youtube okay in about uh in about half an hour okay i'm just gonna sort myself out do a little stretch okay grab some pasta and you know take some pasta i already ate some pasta but it was really delicious pasta <laughs> i want to eat some more that's the problem with pasta i keep on munching on it so let's say by around it's 4 p.m right now almost 4 p.m my time so in about half an hour i'm gonna let it loose premiere it on youtube so i'll be on the chat there as well i think love you so much my rambo how are you doing <laughs> hope you're doing well Rambo, you gotta go watch Dinos Dinosaurus, 1960s classic dinosaur movie. We just read it, by the way. Well, I really wish I'd see real dinosaurs. Oh, me too. I think everybody does. Everybody does. Uh, herbivores, preferably. I don't want to see any carnivores. Love your vibe and knowledge of comics. You show King Solomon. Thank you. I know a little bit. I, I don't know as much as many 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 people right and I very bad with names so I tend to forget names and I mix names up and everything so it is what it is yeah I'll wait till then okay spot of tea well if for some reason I can't do it and I'll send you a message but I should be able to do it have you read the Venegem no I don't think so always I don't know what that one is that dinosaur reading was so cool awesome spider-man yeah great readings right first live reading to debut on youtube awesome yeah first live reading to debut on youtube times for chicho and the chichonia chichonians <laughs> nice what is your favorite dinosaur my favorite dinosaur i don't know i just like the concept of dinosaurs i like the the sea dinosaurs a lot the sea dinosaurs are super cool i like sea creatures right work sent me some champagne for my wedding so cheers ever cheers case man cheers awesome you're a famous uh famous married man now by the way sorry i've been kicking back and uh and enjoying awesome spider-man nothing to be sorry about time to enjoy a comic reading why not why not read any books recently on your own time um I, I read the, one of the chapters of um, mass psychology of fascism one more chapter in mass psychology of fascism by Wilhelm Reich I didn't like the chapter because they're homophobic during that period so I didn't agree with what I read in that chapter uh, but putting it into historical context uh, you know it's good to know our history right I'll be there too Chicho working from home at the moment so I can stay up a bit later nice awesome Tony the Tiger spiky back one for me yeah <laughs> Martin by the way Martin I think we're gonna do a liqueur video just to not 
updating anything but we might do a taste testing of our liqueur cabinet on our live stream maybe in the next set giving you a heads up i say sorry too much can you tell yeah spider-man stop saying sorry so much i did the same thing comics reading are so chill Whoa. yeah exactly spot of feet i was disappointed with wilhelm reich but i think wilhelm reich later on oh you're talking about the liqueur yeah but the wilhelm reich right later on i think he opened up right but i think we're going to do a, a taste testing of the liqueur yes spider-man says nice aren't you uh, too old for too old for comics dude no man nobody's too old for comics are you it's like saying are you too old to read <laughs> are you too old to read what no man i love reading my girlfriend and i just made some liqueur after we're watching your video you met right on right on king sullivan what did you guys make by the way no one's too old for comics no way i am so excited for so many more videos and live streams we will have the next schedule uh batch up soon uh as soon as we do so we're doing uh tomorrow night at 8 30 p.m my time we're doing a current events live stream politics economics or whatnot on april 1st uh two days from now we're doing a COVID 19 uh at 8 30 p.m my time again just an update of the data and then the odds are the next day or two days after that i'll announce the next set of streams right so most likely i'm going to announce another eight streams and i just have to go through the recommendations and see what people recommended requested suggested uh, i'm thinking about doing uh for sure we're going to do math current events uh most likely julian assange possibly covid uh, i want to show you my guys my exercise routine just because everyone's uh what do you call it in in lockup you we still have to stay active and i've been meaning to do that for a while so i, I might show you guys my exercise routine daily exercise routine well i'll figure it out i'll sort it out i have to look at look at the discord page and uh, put the word on on patreon as well just to say hey if anybody has any recommendations because huge thank you to the patreon people right and for those of you uh, who might be new here or whatnot we do have a patreon page okay where i post everything it's a great place to stay up to date as to what i'm up to and what we're uploading and the schedules are posted there you can go to our discord and that's linked up through a twitch page right and uh, we announce everything on twitter gab mines vk and allo right and right now we're uploading everything to youtube and bitshoot and again we are in interesting times and right now you want to flatten the curve flatten the curve gang okay i need to be at the stream teacher love the liqueur streams yeah i did all all you know what tony um go to our discord page on the main folder let us know when uh which day and time would work best for you for the liqueur stream okay no worries spider-man says it is painful sometimes to see old things that have uh that intolerant intolerance homophobia sexism etc yeah spot of tea for sure but i guess you have to see it in the context of the times 100 percent, right 100 percent, right i mean look at what the uk government did to uh turing right incredible crazy crazy 10 by 10 tony tiger possibly 10 by 10 too nice suggestion right and post it on the discord that way i can scan and fit in as much as we can a history professor at columbia who pushes that get ahmadinejad to speak at the school also pushed to get comic books in his library nice awesome that's great he wanted to get ahmadinejad to speak at the school and get comic books in the library perfect perfect right comics are the best reference of the time they came out out in 100 percent one of the greatest historical artifacts ever comic books period period that's one of the reasons by the way uh, there's a lot of lot of uh, oops a uh, lot of uh, museums that have been buying up comic books over the last few years okay exercise routine would be cool video it would be and important i think and important and education from quarantine ah yes that's right always be making 
post it again I'll always be making please post it again on discord okay uh, I'll scan it I'm gonna make sure try to make sure you know I fit in as much as I can and I've been thinking about just putting out a video just a straight-up video recorded video of me going on a rant regarding our education system which I have done in the past but I might go a little hardcore on it a little bit more hardcore on it by the way I'll always be making did you read the or did you uh, did it hit your radar that Washington Post said we're in bad times because homeschooling is increasing right what a bunch of hacks Washington Post and the New York Times like all of those mainstream news sources what a bunch of corporate centralist uh, central power hacks they are right totally manga in the 80s featuring loner badasses is a perfect escape from <laughs> overwork disillusion salary man 100% when I die I will I will have a comic book in my hand nice Martin Chicho lifting those weights showing off his six no six back here man <laughs> Truman how are you doing hey Chicho I have been researching uh, Kenobi he is known as George O. Gregory O. Gallagher I suggest you check him out 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 brother he is very inspirational in all aspects sorry to interrupt the flow of comics but you must see his post it on our discord uh, Truman if you post on our discord I'll, I'll i'll get a chance because right now because i read a lot of stuff uh, i'm not going to remember this right so if you want to get me to look at something you know if i have the time i will okay he inspires thousands of people in fitness and education and also self-motivation i don't know him i don't really go into self-motivation stuff i am who i am and uh I think just life is motivation <laughs> right we all go through hard times we need to be lifted up for sure wise words are always fantastic right crazy stuff I've been reading up on uh, unschooling they're just afraid of losing the power in the relationship yeah 100% 100% fitness self-help guys are fine whatever gets you motivated whatever gets you motivated 100% right anything to keep muscles active these days yeah yeah dragon I've been doing my exercises by the way I get up fairly early so usually I'm I'm doing my exercise 5 36 o'clock in the morning right I'm, I'm it doesn't take me long like half an hour 20 minutes half an hour 40 minutes if I do it long right and that's all you need uh, I'm gonna try to start doing it twice a day but I haven't got into it yet I've been busy doing comic book readings and whatnot I am doing 100 push-ups a day whoa I can't do that I can't my push-ups hurt my wrists right and I've been coming out of injuries so I'm doing minimal my exercises are pretty simple 300 setup damn Martin that's pretty sweet man I'm sorry but I don't really want to listen to self-motivation from someone who inherited millions of dollars from a family member what do they know about struggle um always be making I disagree I don't care if you're poor or rich everybody has hard times everybody goes through hard times and struggles right so it's not the money that matters right sure money can buy you comfort money can get you out of jams uh, in certain degrees money can give you a certain amount of protection but emotional mental well-being physical well-being a social well-being has nothing to do with money it has nothing to do with money I do one sit up every morning when I get up to get to my desk. <laughs> Don't need the tiger. Do simple push ups to start. I've been running 30 miles a week when the park is empty, but I'm afraid of losing strength. Yeah, that's the kicker, right? We'll see where it goes. Okay, gang, thanks for being here. Thank you for the conversations. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the follows. Uh, thank you for the chit chat thank you for the love thank you for picking up dinosaurs if I ever get a chance I'll go through clean that stuff but it is what it is right it is what it is it's human nature to have periods of reduced mental well-being everyone gets it everyone gets it everyone gets it I've had it throughout my life forearm horizontal to the floor forearm horizontal to the floor 
Oh, the half push-ups. These ones? Anyway. Big love, Chicho. See you on Discord. See you guys on Discord. And in the next two days, 8.30 p.m. my time, if you can make it, tomorrow and the next day. Current events and then COVID. See you in the premiere. See you in the premiere spot of tea. Thanks for being here, gang. See you guys uh, tomorrow or on the premiere if you can make it in about half an hour. Bye for now. And mods, thank you for taking care of business. My pleasure, Spider-Man. Bye, gang.